hi guys here it is that scorpion g replay that i wanted to tell you about i decided to find the replay file i will link it into the video description of the first video and you will get to see it for yourself the this is literally there i was I didn't take the platoon invite now, I don't have anything fancy like the press F3 to pan it around, but what I did was the first thing I did was I noticed that if I was going to go here, I would have got lit pretty easy. There's tons of counter spots, especially there's a little spot right here where you can, if you're a light tank, you will light up this entire ridge. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with our heavies. I'm a support Sniper, it's my job. And for some reason, my, my funny little brain thought that I could actually go across here and it's all one area. I didn't see this drop here. So watch, wait for it. <laughs> I'm like, da -da 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 da whoa, -ho -ho there, Jimmy. One minute, that would have been painful. Uh, right, careful, careful. Klaus, 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 Klaus. Oh, okay. Thank you, Klaus. Didn't lose any hit points, didn't damage my tracks. So, and then I remembered, wait, in the old original map, light tanks used to be able to go across this bridge. They used to be able to, to, they used to be able to cross that bridge and get across. But you can't do that no more. Okay, now we've got an IS-2S, KV-2. So basically, I I would have to have supported the KV-2 and the IS-2 while they're reloading. Now, I know the IS-2S with a good crew is about 10 to 11 second reload. KV-2, good crew, 17 to 20 seconds. So I know I'd, I'd have to maintain my fight. Now, the reason why I went up high was, honestly, because these guys hadn't lit anything yet, I was like, eh, but I saw the T-29 on the map i saw the t29 so i thought to myself i'll get try and get a sneaky little <laughs> how'd your father or maybe if we get bogged down here i've got a chance to <whistles> and flank and get them in and, and maybe even beating you know who let the dogs out and go for their arty because they do have three jeffs here okay sorry for the phone in. but because they do have three jeffs here so that was my goal okay and so, yeah, that was my goal. And then I thought, no, wait. Three, two, one. That's where I noticed, ooh, hit points. And I can get up here, maybe. But I realized I didn't have the momentum to get up there. I have seen some uh, light tanks get up there that have the speed. Can you, you wheel buggers. And so I figured, you know what? I will just do what I can. I'm a stealthy tank. I've got good stealth. So I thought, well, I'll let them do their thing first. And I had a shot in the KV-2. Didn't take it because I thought the RE was going to track him. I genuinely thought the artillery... Because normally when artillery hits tank, it damages track. Usually it tracks them. So I thought maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, it might attract them. It would have been easier for me. I know his crew was stunned, which means there was a high chance he was going to miss. But again, Russia. So I took the pot shot and it missed. Now, of course, six cents went off. So now I'm going to wait the six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one. Now he can't spot me. I'm off his radar. But I thought that Tiger 1 is going to be the one that's spotting me, not the KV-2. So that Tiger 1 has to die. Now, I, I also did, did notice that there is a Yag Tiger trying to help support the T-29. And our T-44, who's taking his glorious sweet Russian time to get there, you know. Now, I'm just waiting. Just waiting. I did ping the map to let them know that there is a, a, a T-29. Okay, Tiger 1's out of position. He's hugging the rock. He's made a mistake. I shoot. KV-2 KV did shoot. He was pre-aimed at me, but the shell went whistling right past my loader's right ear. 
<laughs> so it was like back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Now I know that the KV2, that KV2 shot has blown his load. Artie's nailing him. I'm oh, Tiger gets a shot into me. I return the love. Now I traded my hit points because I know that the Tiger, even if he loaded HE, could only do a max of 310 damage to me on a high roll. I think it's 3 310, maybe 330. And that's no biggie. Because our IS-2 is right there and could, you know, maybe one-tap him. But I got my shot in first, rolled for 500, and nine. Three seconds left on my reload. Two, one, shells in the breach. Artie went off. KV-2's right there. See the KV. He shoots at me again. Misses. I roll up, say, enough of this. Tiger's taken a whack. There. Tiger's ticket's been punched. I now roll forward to try and get artillery safe. Now, bear in mind, guys, okay, this is not, depending on the artillery, if it's a British artillery, you're safe. If it's German, Russian, or American, you're not. And look, exactly. Look at the artillery. Look at what it is. German german soviet i wasn't thinking clearly i was not thinking clearly and so because i wasn't thinking clearly because i wasn't thinking clearly sorry i got distracted by my phone there for a second because i was not thinking clearly and Because I wasn't thinking clearly, it, 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 luckily for me, Artie did not hit me, okay? But just forewarning, guys, if you ever want to camp here, okay, know that German artillery can hit you, American artillery can hit you, and Soviet artillery can hit you. The only artillery that can't hit you in that position is British, okay? So, got spotting damage from the KV-2. Sadly, our IS-2 shooter took a whack. I thought... Let's take a shot. Notice he'd moved. Now I thought to myself, I could flank with the T-44. But then I also thought to myself, where's that Yag Tiger? Where's that T-29? They're not been relit. I don't care about who's on the cap. I care about what's in my local vicinity, what can hurt me. They can't hurt me from the cap. Don't, don't get fixated and worry about what's on the cap. Worry about and fixate what's in your AO. Okay. So I thought to myself, all right, let's, let's. Then I saw the T29 rolling and bullying the T44. Now, if you saw a T44 on 870 hit points and a T29 on 390, you thought to yourself, T44's got it. T44 is going to beat the T29's reload, unless he's got the stupid A1 gun, which the T29 shouldn't have the A1 gun. Not at this tier, but hey ho. So I thought, KV-2's now back out into the open. He's fired. Wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, my lovelies, as skills would say. He doesn't say blah, 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 or something like that. Okay, KV-2 kills that KV-2. I'm like, screw it, Churchill's just fired, or in fact, the other KV-2's just fired. Let me roll forward. Artie, as you saw, didn't splash me. He splashed the T-44. So I'm going to roll forward. Now, this is where I play it smart. Boom. Don't, you don't have to, I, I, even if I just trapped him, I would have been happy with that. But the fact that I hit and did damage, 526 damage to a KV-2 is nothing to sniff at. 490 is my average alpha, okay? So I high rolled. KV-2 takes one, he returns it. So he's dead. I figured I'll save the KV-2 from this Churchill. Churchill, ba -la 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 -la, boom. Churchill's dead. I, I Now, I did take a high... That was a high roll for a Churchill. I did take a bit of a high roll from that Churchill. Now, I thought to myself, where the hell is this Jack... Is this fucking Yag Tiger? Okay? T-44 died taking care of the T-29. I don't know how, but he did. So, I thought to myself, that's all right. Then, out of nowhere, three, two, one, and... No, it's not here. It's here. Then, I noticed, bugger. Our T45 TP needs our help. Taking on a full health 88 Yag Tiger. 
he doesn't stand a chance. Okay, KV2 notices it as well. We get set up. That that poor t 45 TP was doomed. There was nothing I could have done but ammo racking that, that 88 Tiger. Okay, I see him. Uh, I should have waited for him to finish turning. I rushed the shot. Okay, that's on me. Okay, to this to this T40 to, to, to Lone Snarky, I apologize. That's on me. However, I could not save you. Okay? There was nothing I could have done. I'm reloading. I was blocking the KV2. I rolled out the way. KV2 fired, did some damage. Three. I took one. I'm trapped. I return return the flavor. I notice our P43 is coming in now. P43 gets him from behind. Wait for the Ag Tiger to freak out. KV2 fires. I take another one in the engine. And then I'm like, S you know what, bro? Sod you. And so I got the kill. I didn't mean to ninja it from your P43. I really didn't. It's just I know you've got a two-shot to three-shot auto loader. And you were already spent. Now, my de my, again, I used my repair kit to fix my tracks. So I got a wounded engine. So that kind of has boned me. Now, I've noticed that the Eagle 7 has not been spotted the entire game. So either the Eagle 7's AFK, or the Eagle 7 is in a really good hiding spot. And at this tier, I was not going the F around. I was like, he's probably in a really good camp spot. And sadly, that P43 is about to find out. Spoiler alert. Okay. S51. Now, I should have held my shot. But miss. I should now realized I'm now out of pre I'm I'm now out of my regular ammo. I'm out. I fired all eleven rounds. I'm like ah, shizer. And I'm like load the HE because I was not gonna fire AP if I because I know that my HE round hurts an Eagle Seven. I know it would wreck a Progetto. Plus I know the fact that the Jag Panther and the Progetto is already lit. So I was like. The nearest targets to me in my current health status is Artie. I'm stealthy. I'm now slow as a turtle because my engine's hurting. Play safe. Play smart. So I started going to the nearest cover. I'm a sniper. I'm a one-shot to basically anything. So play it bloody smart. So I did. I got into cover. Now, I didn't know you could knock down these houses. I thought they were like the stationary ones that you can't knock down. So I was like, you know what, here's a good good place to hide. And then I realized, wait a minute, I can actually knock down these houses. Woohoo! So that's what I started doing. Now the P43 bis is gone off to go try and head off that S51. He's coming back to me. Now over here, unbeknownst to me, until three, two, one. There's the GW Panther. He's already shot, so I know I've got all the time in the world. Took my time. Snapshot. Lovey. Still got HE loaded on the off chance I'm going to see this S51. But guess what? Da-da! Spotted the Hummel. Oh, hello Hummel. I should have just... I don't know how that shell derped. I have no idea. But thank you Wargaming. It gave the Hummel enough time to go, Oh, crap! And he's to have his commandant poop his knickers. But guess what? Artie got artied. So I'm rolling forward. Still thinking s 71 See, Eagle 7. Uh, no, ah, he tried to shotgun me. Missed. Took my time. Now I notice the Eagle 7's coming for me. And I'm thinking, crap. I'm doomed. I've already got high calibre, as you can see. So I'm thinking, ow, he's tracked me. Worst case scenario, he's going to reload, come back. I thought the KV-2 or his like, artillery could help me. But sadly, I got one shot into him. Was a premium ammo. No, was it HE ammo? Wait, let me go back. Let me go back. Stop the replay. Go back. Uh, how'd you go back? I forgot how to go back. No, you don't. Okay. I want to go back just a few seconds. Not the whole thing. Forgive me, I've not done replay control settings in forever. Um, so forgive me for a second. Uh, it should tell you in... No, it doesn't. Oh, well. 
that sucks. But point is, um, I loaded. No, it wasn't. It was a gold round. I stand corrected. Uh, but I did lug him. I did hurt him. And I think that's where the re. No, wait, right there. And three. I did. I didn't want to rush the shot. Again, you can tell I'm a War Thunder player as well. I'm so used to nailing the gun mantle on a Pershing on the on what is the right my right there left side. That's the that's the loader and the gunner. There, other side is the no. It's the commander and the loader. Other side is the gunner. And I was thinking maybe that would disable his gun didn't happen duh this is world of tanks not war thunder dan so is what it is and he did nail me and so kv2 gets on the cap progetto gets killed now our tiger 2 is afk the entire rest of the match not even joking not not even kidding here our Tiger 2 is literally stationary the rest of the match. And so Progetto rolls up. Progetto's a one shot. But I tried telling the KV2, but then again, I'm freaking chat banned. Because cake is a lie, remember guys. Long story short, KV2 kills the Progetto. Uh, no, sorry. Artillery kills the Progetto. KV2 wounds the eagle eagle kills the kv2 eagle kills the m44 and then the eagle tries to kill the tiger but i believe the su and the gw panther both click him and that's how we win so hate to be the bearer of bad news on the spoilers on the spoilers front but that's how the match ends and it was glorious so Please understand, I am not the world's best. I'm not Quickie Baby. I'm not Circumflexus. I'm not High Flyer. I'm not uh, uh, D's Games. I'm not Lemming Rush. I'm just me. An average Joe. Let's see. And this is where you're going to see the Eagle 7 Ram. And it's too late. Nothing KB2 can do. Absolutely nothing KB2 can do. But my point is, guys, I'm an average player. I'm I'm an average player. There, there's literally nothing. I, I'm just trying to show you why I'm so proud of this because this match got me my mastery badge, um, and yeah, I I played the Scorpion G as the Scorpion G was intended, um, and it was fun. I'm not gonna lie, it was fun, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Peace.